Hi everyone, welcome to Legal Talks by Desi Kanun. I am Suyash and I am excited to have started the show. On today's show, we will discuss another judicial pronouncement by the High Court of Judicature for Rajasthan in the case of Risha Loda versus Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, single bench civil writ petition number 6261 of 2021, wherein the story of cross injustice against a CA aspirant was unfolded by the court. Let us understand the facts in brief. In this case, the petitioner was a chartered accountancy aspirant and on 20th of November 2020, concerned with the pandemic situation, she wrote an email to the functionaries of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India ICAI, cautioning that if the CA exams are held during the time of COVID-19 pandemic, it will lead to exponential growth in number of COVID cases and sought development of online infrastructure for conducting exams. Later on, during the period of 22nd January 2021 to 7th of February 2021, she had appeared for intermediate exams of CA. On 22nd February 2021, she received an email from the Institute of Chartered Accountants informing that her result had been put on hold because of the derogatory remarks made by her in the email dated 20th of November 2020 and she was asked to explain why disciplinary proceedings should not be initiated against her. Dreaded by this, the petitioner immediately issued an unconditional apology on 22nd of February 2021 itself, whereafter she was asked to personally appear before the examination committee of the Institute of Chartered Accountants on 10th of March 2021 at Jaipur. She appeared on the said date, but the result of the same was never informed to her. When the results were finally announced on 26th of March 2021, the petitioner found out that her result was cancelled under the caption, I quote, adopted unfair means, letter follows, the quote ends. Subsequently, on 30th of March 2021, the respondents, that is the Institute of Chartered Accountants, informed her that, she was guilty of making derogatory remarks in the captioned examination and therefore her result was cancelled. Hence, a petition was preferred before the Honorable High Court of Judicature for Rajasthan by the petitioner. So what were the arguments of the petitioner in this case? It was argued by the petitioner that the action of the respondents is against Regulations 41 and 176 of the Chartered Accountants Regulation 1988 as the examination committee can adjudge conduct of a candidate in or near an examination hall only. Whereas the letter dated 20th of November 2020 was written months before the exam and not during the time of exam. It was also argued that the email dated 20th of November 2020 cannot be said to be derogatory. Though there were certain strong remarks in that email, yet the same were only due to the anxiety of the petitioner to request the Institute of Chartered Accountants to develop online infrastructure and there was nothing per se derogatory in that email. It was also contended that the reply to the email dated 22nd of February 2021 on the same date by the petitioner is reflective of the pressure that she is facing from the Institute of Chartered Accountants. And the ICAI, that is the Institute of Chartered Accountants, failed to show grace and despite nothing derogatory in the email dated 20th of November 2020, it did not close the matter, it continued to pressurize the petitioner. Lastly, it was contended that the phrase adopted unfair means was prima facie factually incorrect and it only shows the vindictiveness of the Institute of Chartered Accountants. The petitioner just wrote an email and her result was cancelled by stating that she adopted unfair means. Let us also understand the arguments of the respondents. The institute argued that there is an efficacious remedy of filing a review before the council of the institute of chartered accountants against the decision of the examination committee to cancel her result. Hence, the petitioner should have approached the council first and therefore the writ petition is not maintainable. It was further argued that the cancellation of result has not been challenged 
and hence the relief of declaration of result is not maintainable. The petitioner merely asked for declaration of result and she did not seek cancellation of the result. The respondents also contended that there was disorderly behavior on part of the petitioner and doubts should not have been raised with respect to institute's preparation in conducting the exams. According to the respondents, her email was totally unwarranted and it was reflective of her disorderly behavior. Lastly, the respondents argued that the email dated 20th of November 2020 related to examinations and hence the examination committee had the jurisdiction to look into the matter. Now let us move on to the observations of the court and what was held by the court in this case. The court observed that the initiation of proceedings against the petitioner were without jurisdiction, arbitrary, capricious and against the principles of natural justice. It was further observed that the email dated 20th of November 2020 was addressed to the office bearers of the Institute of Chartered Accountants and not to the examination committee. It was the opinion of the court that the email contained nothing derogatory and any action in this regard is unwarranted, uncalled for and high-handed. The court also stated that the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India pushed the petitioner to bring and subjugated her to the extent that she had to write in her reply that she is ashamed of herself. Further, the court found it disturbing that the petitioner was personally heard on 10th of March 2021, yet no order was ever communicated to her in this regard and her examination result was cancelled in an arbitrary manner wide communication dated 30th of March 2021. Regarding existence of alternate remedy, the court observed that availability of alternate remedy is a rule of discretion and the present case is max of abuse of authority leading to infringement of fundamental rights of the petitioner. According to the court, the conduct of the respondents is such that the alternate remedy was, I quote, to challenge Caesar's order before Caesar's wife, the court ends, and cancellation of petitioner's result is nothing short of colorable exercise of powers. It is pertinent to note that a notice dated 22nd of November 2020 was also sent to the petitioner, wherein it was stated that the petitioner is to refrain from addressing any such communication like the email dated 20th of November 2020 to anybody failing which the institute shall be constrained to initiate appropriate legal proceedings against her. Hence, according to the court, the respondents were stopped from initiating any action against the petitioner since she did not make any communication as they had asked for. The court also cited the case of Gorkha Security Services versus Government of NCT Delhi 2014 9 SCC 105, wherein it was held that, I quote, a show cause notice should necessarily state the action which is proposed to be taken against the notice, the court ends. Since the proposed action was not stated in the show cause notice that was issued to the petitioner, therefore the mandate of this case was not followed by the Institute of Chartered Accountants and the impugned order of cancelling the result was held to be illegal. Going into the question that whether the Institute of Chartered Accountants could still initiate disciplinary proceedings against the petitioner, it was held by the court that as per regulation 41 of the CA regulations, the examination committee could act only, I quote, if a candidate behaves in a disorderly manner in or near an examination hall or has resorted to unfair means, the court ends. As I stated earlier, such was clearly not the case and hence the proceedings were held to be void ab initio. The court also found out that the petitioner had cleared the CA intermediate examination for which her result was cancelled. Thus, the writ petition was allowed by the court. So what are my concluding remarks? I feel that this case reflects the high-handedness with which the authorities work in general be it professional bodies like the Institute of Chartered Accountants or be it any other authority, the entire system seems to have become rotten and stale. 
the mentality of the persons officiating on high posts has become menial and deprecating many public servants consider themselves to be nothing less than a demigod and suffer from god's syndrome i think that it is high time that such pathetic officers are stripped of their ranks and services but who will do it when from the top to the bottom the entire system has become crooked suppressing the voices of the people is a task in which the authorities of present day excel at it is most depressing to see that for trivial issues where one is not even at fault the courts are to be approached justice has become truly a rare commodity these days and for seeking every kind of justice usually one has to approach the court and nothing could be expected from the authorities in this regard not everybody is so well informed or so resourceful to afford an advocate of their choice or let alone know about their rights people usually do not approach the courts out of fear of vindictive attitude of the authorities i am really glad that the petitioner in the present case knocked the doors of justice and got what rightfully belonged to her all i can say is that don't be afraid times are such that people will have to fight for their rights we are being pushed to the brink but i'll still say that don't be afraid the truth shall prevail so i hope you enjoyed listening to this show thank you for listening if you have any comments please make them in the comments section please do not forget to like and subscribe us see you next time till then stay tuned